Crazy how this whole thing changed. I was gonna tell you I love you, but you took too long to get back to me. Now I've been setting up interviews, replacing all of the faculty. Yo, it's Goody Tube, and I'm back to another video. And no, this is not Roblox gameplay. This is, um, uh, this is, this is Warhammer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm not a loser playing Roblox, no, 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 I play Warhammer. Anyways, uh, yeah, today I'll be watching a 17 year old who spends thousands of dollars. Like, I'm talking about, like, Jay Z type of money. Like, when Kanye West was a baby, like, like that type of money on designer clothes. Like, yes, you heard me right designer clothes on like yeah thousands of dollars of designer's clothes like i'm talking about if jay-z was benjamin then he would have every amount of money basically like that's that's the type of thing he spends it on which is pretty stupid not gonna lie but it, it is what it is i guess so uh yeah we're gonna be watching something interesting which i personally think you guys will like because i i've covered things like this before i mean like i've covered very stupid things in the past that honestly I'm gonna be brain dead, but I mean like who doesn't love it? So uh, yeah, let's get into it, and uh, you could watch me be brain dead halfway through the video. So yay! I get mad and frustrated with Ryan because he just wants more and more money all the time. Ryan needs a job to support his habits. I had a summer job at 15. I was washing dishes, and I only was getting paid like a hundred dollars. Okay, first off, before I even say what I'm gonna say. Uh, is it me or this guy looks like a gay guy named Shaquino? Alright, like, listen. It, it, it's one thing to look weird, but this is definitely beyond sus. This is sus level 3000, man. Listen, like, the NYPD doesn't need to focus on black guys, right? They they don't need to be shooting up people that look like George Floyd, right? They need to be shooting up people like this. People that look like a gay guy named Shaquino. Now, second of all, you're telling me he is complaining about him earning $100 every two weeks. Yeah, that might not be a lot, but you can still buy a lot of things with it. Now, think about this. A lot of people don't even earn a dime. Nonetheless, somebody that's earning $100 every two weeks. And also, think about the job you also signed up for. When you get a job, remember, you have the option to pick what you want to do. So, if you pick that you want to wash dishes, that is your fault for wanting to wash dishes. Nobody asked you to wash dishes. You're the one that signed up for it. So, you cannot blame anybody else for your stupidness. It's your fault for not actually going out and finding a better job. Like, at least you have a friend. We found a job at a zoo and got paid enough to buy his own PC. So nonetheless, he should be able to find himself a good job. Like, I don't understand how people can really think like this. It's so dumb. Now let's get back into the video because you probably know that I just paused at the most best time. Every two weeks, which is not enough to support my lifestyle. Basically, at the four weeks, I got tired of being told what to do. My son, Ronald, he tries to sneak little ways <laughs> to get more money. Like if he takes out the trash or, you know, tidying up around the house, he feels as though he got to be paid extra for each individual thing. Oh, you need to pay me for this. You need to pay me for that. I, mean, I do laugh because, like, why do I have to pay you to do your chores? Listen, I just want to talk on this real quick. I don't know why, but if all of a sudden it's becoming a big problem in America that kids are not getting paid to do chores. Now, let me tell you this. If you're living by yourself, nobody in the world is going to pay you to do what you need to do. Chores are something that you're it's mandatory to do. If you don't do it, you, you're going to live in filth. And trust me, nobody wants to live in filth. So think about this for a second. You want to get paid for something that you're not going to get paid in in the future. This is like me saying that um, I want to get paid from Twitch, which I barely use Twitch. The only time I use Twitch is if I feel like doing something stupid. I never use Twitch. So me wanting to get paid from that, even though I barely do it, is kind of stupid because I know that I don't deserve to get paid for that. I don't do anything with Twitch. YouTube is kind of my main thing. So it makes no sense that he wants to get paid for something he's not getting paid in the future that he doesn't deserve to get paid for. It, it's really stupid. Now, Ronald says he uses retail therapy to make himself better because his mom is always at work, but is he willing to take a smaller allowance or no allowance so she doesn't have to work as much? Okay, that has to be the stupidest thing I've ever heard. I don't think anybody really should be having to suffer from you spending and making people get into a bunch of dub that they don't even want to get into. Like, this mom obviously doesn't care about fashion. She doesn't care about it. So why is he making her suffer with debt? 
and thousands of dollars having to be paid because he's like, oh, you go to work. And what does work have to do with the clothes? You can still wear your clothes even if she's at work. Like, what are you in slavery? Massa master is gonna goddamn punch you if you don't wear clothes whenever your goddamn mom is picking the cotton. Like, don't ask where I came from. But anyways, th th that should be a actual excuse that he uses it, it that excuse won't make any sense because obviously she doesn't have anything to do with that it's your bidding and your fault if you don't have your own money she shouldn't be responsible for what you do no i'm not <laughs> she's gonna work more to raise my allowance ain't nothing wrong with that and you is your queen uh, only gay guys if your queen uh, talk like that we all know that like come on it's a fact now nobody else talks to that other than gay guys named your queen uh, like we have to face it man face reality he's a gay guy named your queen uh. graduate high school at the end of the year your allowance will be cut off oh no you're going to have oh, to no. work oh, a no. job no. or two jobs. i don't know why y'all clapping oh no no because i can't do it it's anymore. not gonna happen bro I can't. Now, let me, let me, let me ask you something. You're living in a, in a small bedroom in your house, and he's in the master suite. Who pays for this house? I do. But you put him in the master suite, and you go down the hall and live in a smaller bedroom. Why is that? What, I... what did you say to yourself to make that okay? Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that kinda sounds stupid. I mean, they live in a house. It's not like they're in an apartment. They live in an apartment, you know, it's reasonable. If you're in an apartment, it's understandable because both rooms are pretty much equal. But you're living in a house, you understand that there's limited space to everything this time. Like, it's not like you could switch or anything. The fact that he's ever getting the master bedroom is a far fetch, fair enough. But this man really, Gay Shukido over here, really thinks that he shouldn't have his allowance cut off. Even though he's making. He is committing World War II, alright? I don't understand why he thinks he should not have his allowance cut off. <laughs> well, I gave him the, the bigger room because he has a lot more clothes than I do. I just let him take the, the bigger room with all his clothes and, and I took the smaller room. My question is why? I don't know. I'm I, can feel. I just I just need help with uh reparenting for us this whole situation oh, with here. Ryan. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> here. I really do. Oh help is here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, help is here. You know, he's been writing in actually. He he wrote to me on March third of this year, he says, my mom thinks I have a spending and attitude problem. I want her to stop picking on me. <laughs> I feel like she doesn't want me to have a normal teenage life. Every time I try to go out with my friends, she always wants to know where I'm going and who I'm going with. Yes. Damn, Dr. Cole, did not throw that bad. But seriously, though, like, that excuse doesn't make any sense. Like, for real. Like, it doesn't make any sense, the fact that her excuse of what he could do that's because of his clothes. Like, really doesn't. And I love how this man, it, like, you can tell this man is embarrassed. You can tell this man wants to do a 360 no scope off a roof, but missed the no scope, right? Like, this man is just completely embarrassed of what, like, he, what he's done. Never really, seriously. <laughs> I just want Dr. Phil to talk to my mom and get us on better terms as far as our relationship and see if he can get my allowance raised. Well, that no. allowance is not no, going to happen. No, it's going to happen. So. And I feel as though we will have a better relationship if he can learn to save money more and spend <clears throat> less. And we do less. normal things like a family, like go out to the movies, dinner. He wrote I can on spend 4 more time with him. He wrote the next month and he says, um, I live with my mom and my little sister. And he says, I need to, I, I want to help with stop this drama and to make my mom raise my allowance. Uh, he wrote in June, says, um, I went shopping with my friends and I went to the Gucci store and bought a pair of $500 shoes and she got mad. Yes. I, I also this feel like my bad. allowance yes. should be raised because $400 every two weeks is not cutting it. It's not. She thinks she can control me and the way I spend my money. Yeah, my money. Once she gives me my allowance, that's my money. I get that's to do right. whatever I Once want to do with it. Once she gives it to you, it's yours. 
Once you give it to him, it's his. Yes. Until you give it to him, it's yours. Yes. 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 No, no, don't say it. Don't say it. Because <laughs> here's how much money you have. You, you get your allowance at her discretion. The woman you send down the hall to live in a small bedroom. Yeah, that's right. She can cut it off. She can turn it on. No, she can take no, it down. No, it's not going to happen. Yes, I can. Because oh. your credit card went down missing, so. I'm sorry? Her credit card went down missing. He stole so. my credit card and charged up yeah. $300 that's to $400. We, you know, there's a, there's a term that describes that behavior. It's called felony. Yes. <laughs>